For the clean and press, I highly recommend you check out our video on the kettlebell clean. Uh, I'm not going to go as much over the clean in this portion uh, as I did in that video. For the clean and press, it is going to obviously involve a clean and a press for each repetition. We're not just using the clean to get it to be able to press it. That's also in another video. Here we go with the clean and press. The very first clean is going to be from the floor and then we're going to press it. Each successive clean and press is going to be a clean from the hips and then into the same press. So to get started, we're going to begin with that kettlebell about a foot and a half in front of us, center between our feet. I'm going to set up my knees and hips, spread the floor apart with my feet, drive the knees out, butt back, hinge up my hips, create this nice flat neutral spine, reach down, grab the center of the handle, tilt it back. From here, I'm going to take in a nice deep belly breath, swing it back behind the hips, extend the knees and hips and let it roll onto my wrist, creating that triangle position with the wrist, elbow and shoulder. We call this the rack position. That kettlebell weight is going to be resting a little bit on the wrist, but mostly where the shoulder meets the bicep meets the chest, you got a little bit of extra padding right there. Your elbow should be tucked in nice and tight. That elbow should be resting on the rib cage. We don't want to have it out here or off to the side, tucked in nice and tight. The closer this kettlebell is to your center of gravity, the more of an advantage you're going to have when you're pressing. Lastly, make sure this wrist is straight. In order to press, we're going to take a nice deep belly breath. We're going to squeeze our glutes. We're going to grip this kettlebell nice and tight like we're trying to crush it. And then we're going to press it overhead. Fully extend the arm so that that arm is in line with your ear, if not almost behind the ear. We don't want to have that kettlebell out in front. We definitely don't want to have it out off to the side. When you bring it back down, you're going to lower it back to that same starting position we just took off from. And then from here, you're going to allow it to roll off the wrist again into another clean. Let it roll up. Clean. When you're done or you're ready to switch sides, you can either switch mid-air or you can switch by coming down to the ground and go from there. You might even need to take a break in between switching from the left to the right side. In that case, simply set it down on the ground. Couple key things to remember with the clean and press. Make sure that clean gets you into a good position for your press. If your clean is sloppy, you're going to end up in a sloppy starting position for your press. Make sure the wrist is straight and it's not bent back. Make sure your elbow is tucked in tight so that weight is close to your body. And make sure uh, that you are crushing that kettlebell before you go into that press. As you press, your shoulder blade should come back so that that arm can extend and you can be in line with your ear. Avoid having it in front of you or off to the side. We also don't want it to go back behind us. We want to control it and use a cue that I call punching the ceiling. Once you've extended overhead, make sure you give it a, a good like half second lockout. We don't want to just come up and then drop back down. We want to boom, punch the ceiling, come back down under control and then repeat into that good clean position. From there, you can also perform a push press utilizing the hips, which we have in another video. That's how you do a kettlebell clean and press.